All right, listen up. It is your boy T-Walk, a.k.a. Tracy Walker, reporting live. Thanks for tuning in. If you are here, it's because you want to make your life better and you're looking into the radiology field, whether it's CAT scan, MRI, X-ray, how to cross train. I saw in my other videos, Just click on my name, you'll be able to see the other videos that I have about the salaries and all that stuff. All right, if you have any questions about anything I say in this video or anything about X-ray, CAT scan, or MRI, this guy is registered. I can answer your questions, but before you start typing and thinking your situation is special, just look down in the comments that are already there and then you'll be able to see if someone has already had a similar question and that will answer your question. And another thing you can put in the comments, go ahead and throw in your salaries. If you're already a nurse, uh, a teacher, you work at Home Depot, you work at wherever it is that you do, we want to know your salaries so people can compare and see what they want to do. If you're a CAT scanner or uh, the amount of salary you get if you're already an x-ray tech in Tennessee or in Kentucky or in Dallas or in New Mexico or in Las Vegas, let us know because everyone can share that information. All right, so first I want to start this video by saying there are gatekeepers out there. Gatekeepers are the people who are holding you back. It could be your boss, could be a supervisor, could be a manager, it could be a friend. People, listen, gatekeepers are the people who made it to these high positions real quick. They took shortcuts in life and then they got there and they don't want to spread the word how they got there. Shame, shame on those people. What I'm here to do is spread the good word and show you how to get there. Because a lot of people think that getting a bachelor's degree is going to save their lives. When the truth is, there's a lot of two-year degrees like barber school and x-ray that pays more than these four years, this four-year degree at, at universities. I have a good example. Just last night, I re-watched Set It Off. This movie with Queen Latifah and Jada Pinkett. And uh, Jada Pinkett is in an entanglement where her little brother is going to college. And of course, they're in poverty, right? They're in the hood, they're in the projects. And the idea that they're throwing to the viewers, even when I was a kid, like it's another thing that influenced me to go to college to get a four year uh, degree without me even knowing it. But they put these little plugs in movies, hey, get a four year college degree at a university and it's gonna change your life. So the idea in this movie is that her, uh, Jada Pinkett's little brother is going to go to college and he's going to liberate the whole entire hood, right? Like, no, that's not how it works. Um, all these people who have these fancy degrees in, in biology, these are bachelors, undergrad, right? So it's four-year college degrees, which doesn't take four years to get anymore, by the way. Uh, teachers, coaches, whatever it is, like, when they graduate, all they can do is work at Home Depot or Walgreens and be a store manager. Like, and meanwhile, they have, have all this debt if their parents or a scholarship didn't pay for it. So what I'm saying is that a two-year degree like X-Ray is going to liberate you. It's going to catapult you way up further than all of the people who have the four-year degrees. See what I'm saying? All right. So with that being said, that's out of the way. This video is about what to expect whenever you are in the x-ray field. So uh, the first thing, number one, I wanna talk about is the environment of the hospital. And it's such a good thing because in the hospital, once you're a student and you graduate, you become an x-ray tech, you're gonna meet so many interesting and cool people, right? So you're gonna meet people who are making their life better. You're gonna meet people who are currently uh, residents who are doing their on-the-job training, who are doing their internships, and they're making their lives better. So that positive energy that's out there where people are in school, they got the book out, instead of them freaking you know, scrolling through Facebook and Instagram, they got their head in the book in between patients. They're making their lives better. Just go ahead and look around at work or wherever it is that, that you're doing and look at other people who are in their phones just scrolling through Facebook and Instagram looking at butts and stuff. Meanwhile, you could just be 
in, in your textbook, let's say you're registered in x-ray already, for example, go ahead, open, oh, buy a textbook for CT and start studying. Your supervisor and your coworkers are gonna see that you are trying to make your life better. So without you even saying anything, without you saying that, hey, uh, could you cross train me in, 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 in CAT scan, I'm willing to learn, just go ahead and buy the textbook. And then people will see you studying and they're like, oh, this guy has his, his head on straight, or this girl has her head on straight. She's trying to make her life better. I promise you, people will, will vibe off that positive energy because that's what the world is, right? Like people's energies. And once you're in that positive atmosphere, it's going to liberate you and it's going to catapult everyone else into stardom. I really believe that. All right. So uh, a lot of questions patients have when you bring them to the room is that uh, the amount of radiation you're going to be getting. A lot of people are going to be pregnant, not pregnant, or they read an article when they were on the plane about how much radiation and dose and you should be asking blah, 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 blah. So all you need to do is assure them that the dose in x-ray is low. It's very low. CAT scan is a whole different story. MRI, there is no radiation dose at all. But when it comes to x-ray, the dose is low. Just think about all your employees and all the times you're gonna get blasted with x-rays yourself being an employee holding a baby still because the baby can't hold themselves still. Or you're gonna to have to do physical, physical restraints on a patient who can't stay still. You're gonna have Parkinson's. So you're gonna to have to get in the shot to, to, to hold the patient still so you can get that perfect view of the x-ray. Um, also, um, another thing. Uh, a lot of patients are going to be having to get undressed, and a lot of times there's no dressing room. People are going to have, patients are going to have to get undressed inside the room, right? So you're going to be there. You're going to excuse yourself or, or not, but a lot of people, a lot of times patients are going to just take off their bra with their shirt on. As long as you conduct yourself in a professional manner, then I call it medical mode. As long as you're in medical mode, no one's going to think that you're trying to cop a a feely or or whatever. Uh, excuse me, really fast. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, wait, wait. No, no, Come here. I just want to get you on camera. All right. So, where was I at? Um, a lot of times people are going to get undressed in front of you, and that's okay. Conduct yourself in a professional manner and you'll be fine. No one's gonna be weird about it. Uh, next thing, number three, um, pregnancy statements. So patients are, a lot of times, a lot of your uh, patients are gonna be underage. And it's weird for a daughter to come in with her father or mother and you're gonna have to ask them a question about are they breastfeeding? What was your last menstrual cycle? Um, are you pregnant? Like a lot of times they want to keep that a secret. So it's up to you. It's your room. It's your x-ray room. So you decide if you want to bring the parent in there with you. You can make up any bull crap excuse of, to keep the parent from coming in. Like, oh, we're, I'm sorry, uh, mom, we're only having one, one, pa one patient back there at a time. Or um, uh, the manager said, this is hospital policy. Whatever. As long as you conduct yourself in a professional manner and you look at the patient, the patient mother in the eye, father in the eye, be like, hey, we'll be back in five minutes. So you're going to be okay with me. Okay? Bring her back and knock out the x ray. And then that way you can ask the little person in private if they are pregnant, breastfeeding, and the date of their last menstrual cycle. Or the patient, the patient mother or parent is back here, then you ask them quietly or in a professional manner. And then, as long as you're in medical mode, it's not going to get weird for any for either of the parties. Okay. All right. I think that's it. I'm trying to make this video ten minutes or less. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, I'm not Hollywood. I'm going to reply to every single last one of you. On my downtime, I just sit and scroll and see if there's any questions or comments that that I missed. And if you already know the answer to some of people's questions. Go ahead and answer them for me. This is the X-Ray community. All right, guys? Just remember that. I'm your X-Ray community liaison. So if you ask me questions on about if there's an MRI, uh, MRI school in your city, 
Just use Google, okay? All right, peace out. It is your boy T-Walk signing off. Thanks for tuning in. There's one more thing that I left out that Jasmine forgot. I mean, that Jasmine, Jasmine mentioned to me, um, patients are going to be asking if their, if their limbs are broken. People, for example, someone can come in for an ankle x-ray because they're playing football and they're gonna ask you if it's broken. So you're not a doctor, you don't get paid the, the big bucks. Therefore, you don't have to tell them if it's broken or not. You know, you can tell them if you want to, like yourself, if you see a for sure fracture, but it's not a good thing because you could be wrong. So, all right, peace. You don't tell them if it's broken anyway. Don't tell them it's broken. All right. Even if it's obvious. What are you doing?